you have to risk everything. Progress is not always a forward march. What are the reasons for someone quite openly flouting the rules and yet everyone turns a blind eye? What should we or shouldn't we tolerate as citizens of this country? Hello, I'm Roxana Silbert and I'm the Artistic Director of Hampstead Theatre. I'm absolutely thrilled to introduce you to my debut season. A season of epic plays inspired by true stories which are surprising, entertaining and enriching. Take a look. I think it's, it's quite sexy. It's quite outrageous. One does not require a background in art history to, to appreciate this play. The Botticelli and the Fire follows the story of the Renaissance painter Sandro Botticelli as he works on the birth of Venus. He looks at the ways in which populism uh, foments and sacrifices we have to make in order to survive. The King of Hell's Palace is set in Hunan, China. It concerns how Governments and corporations, by privileging profit over people, are mortgaging the future. I hope that the audiences leave with space to think about the true cost of real activism. Often in the West, it is Twitter, it is what you wear on your clothes, whereas in China, you have to pay with your happiness. Everyone loves a Cold War spy thriller. The Ravens, Spassky vs. Fisher, is about the 1972 World Chess Championship, an American versus a Soviet grandmaster. It was the perfect storm of the Cold War politics combined with movie star levels of fame. It speaks to where we are politically, who is allowed to break the rules, who gets away with stuff, and who's allowed to get away with stuff. There's a strong tendency to think if you've got nothing to hide, you've got nothing to fear. The Haystack is about a young analyst working for GCHQ and an investigative journalist working at The Guardian. He is tasked with surveilling her. It's about the balance we set between security and liberty. If those digital norms were applied in the physical space, people would be furious. We think we live in a police state. Putting on new writing is a huge risk. There are very few places that make that work. Hampstead was one of the first places that took an interest in me. I feel that Hampstead Theatre is exactly the right place. It has such a great tradition of of supporting really smart uh, and really contemporary writing. It's beyond thrilling. It's just 60 more years.